Okay. Cool. It's like what we've been playing. Are the those last what they week. look like? <laughs> look at they're so like gangly. Oh lord. Is she just seeing them? Oh my god, what's happening? The normies are back to watch more Ruby. It's Dameron, Serge, Marquetta, and Runa. This is Alone in the Woods, Volume 6, Chapter 6. Whoa. This episode is, is going to be spooky. It is got definitely turtles. a spooky one. Got Turly Dog spooky. on deck. T D S M R. We're a different acronym when Turly's yeah, with us. Yeah, Turly, it's okay. They, it's okay. The terms. The drugs. He can be a lowercase terms. T. Yeah, look at <laughs> Drugs. He knows. Oh yes. my god, the last line of this episode description is The only thing worse than being stranded alone in the woods is realizing you're not alone at all. Oh, dun, yeah, dun, man. Dun. I'm sorry, but Brunswick Farm, something Guys, haunted, something spooky about to happen. Do you, yeah, do you remember so. that one episode of The Walking Dead where they got into the house? Yes! During a storm? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. And yeah. there was. This la the latest the season, walls. actually. Oh, then I do know. It was the scariest episode it the show has ever produced. Literally. Horrifying. Is, it was like we were not out of ready. nowhere. Like, <laughs> what is it happening? Well, it's good to know that it's getting better. Yeah, yeah. They can still have little pockets of, you know, surprises for you. And it would be sure. just, might as well just be like a standalone episode. It was really good. All right. Like, yeah. you don't okay. need to have the context. All right. Yeah. I'll watch it. But yeah, I think, I think you know, they're teeing it up. They're teasing it for a reason. You know, the long camera angles, just sitting on the environment. Cold wilderness in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Dead bodies in the dead, beds. I mean, dead like, bodies. It doesn't yeah. get more scary than that. We'll see what happens. But first, Turley, is this a market substitute? Oh, shit, no, it's not market substitute. <laughs> 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 Support the official release, Bark Bark. Bark Bark. And, uh, you know, we have it on Patreon as well if you'd like to get ahead and support okay. the normies. Thank you. Support Turley, even you. Yeah, can support, support a turly. turly dog. That's right. Even you can feed a six pound Yorkie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start the Let's show. Let's start it. it. Oh, Turtles, you're so lucky. It's the Mecca. Turtles I wish I could love. go everywhere in my life and everybody would like me. Mm -hmm. Gen lock. Some people hate dogs, though. Oh, Could you imagine someone hating Turley? Like, like what, what is wrong hell? with you? Yeah, there's just something fundamentally incorrect. <laughs> By the way, I watched a movie called Lamb last night, which deals with the birth oh, of. Uh, we saw the trailer yeah. for that. Yeah. I watched it last night. Watch it. It's fantastic. Really? Yeah. I'm scared. All That's right. Great. It's actually not that scary of a movie. Oh, I, I, it seems like it's gonna be like. It's gonna mentally fuck me up. Yeah, mentally. So yeah, I don't want to watch it. it <laughs> it's a very existential movie, and so it, it asks a lot of questions that it it, ver it answers eventually with very resolute answers. So I uh, I would encourage watching it. It's it's wild. Nice. Yeah, with the trailer, I had no idea what was going on. I'm like, there's a <laughs> lamb baby. What is? Yep, that's happening. The premise. That's the premise. Lamb baby. Lamb baby. Oh, the uh, Neo's hat hit her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cinder as she was walking. Okay. Little, little tiny this hints. Guy. This guy looks like he's posing for a selfie. Wow. He's like, hmm. You sound like an Emmy from Metroid Dread. <laughs> really? The yeah. one hit kill monsters? Yeah. Puffy hates those. He was like, Metroid Prime would have been 10 out of 10, but I hated those Emmys. <laughs> it's so good. I love this shot where they change into each other. It's so cool. Did Puppy already finish it? He I mean, did, yeah. He 100% did. I'm already on. Tr I'm, I'm trying. God, dog. I'm trying to 100% Hades, and it is a task. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll leave you to that endeavor. <laughs> the Broken Moon. The Moon. The Broken Moon Tavern. No. Too soon. Too soon. Look, it's Too soon. also 10 till midnight. The clock has stopped. <gasps> oh. Storm's cleared up for now. You should be able to leave by morning. He found the wine bottle already. <laughs> yeah. No. If there's a wine cellar, I'm surprised he's upstairs. I'm feeling about this place. Especially with me around. Do I like your rings? Are you okay? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll let everyone to get some sleep. I'll wake you guys up just <laughs> Not very convincing. Sure. Are you okay? Sure. <laughs> What's wrong with you, buddy? I would literally not eat or drink anything in that place. Right. 
It's a diary. The head of this household, Bartleby. Apparently, he and several other families founded this little settlement to try and live on their own. It sounds like it worked. At least, for a spell. Grim. Just one of No, oh, she's on three now. She's yeah. still on one. Down there farming, made everything harder. It's a shame, really. He seemed like quite the ambitious fellow. Always thinking of new schemes to overcome the odds. Hey guys, Carl said we should get some sleep. We're gonna head out early tomorrow. Thank goodness. If you make it till tomorrow, girls. Me doing is letting some kid tell me what to do. Get in bed. <laughs> Go in the comfy chair. I like her energy. Yeah. Hell yeah. I wouldn't take shit from a teenager either. She's gonna figure it out. Oh. I think Ruby's just now realizing that, that Crow's an alcoholic. <laughs> when she's looking like, oh. To be fair, she is a teenager. It's too nice. How many bottles, bro? Gonna break and wake everybody up. I hate when I wake up like this. Mm -hmm. Oh also, my god, the headache that comes like seconds afterwards. Uh, hate it. You also don't mix red and white, Crow. Everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. Three. Oh my god. He's hungover as fuck. First of all, if you get wine drunk on red and white, yeah, you're probably smashed. He just realized his, his mentor was a liar. We overslept. Break it on him. Uh, what? Oh, right. Sunrise. You know, you can talk to me about stuff. Yang, too. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, sometimes our uncles need to talk, too, man. Yeah. You've been through a thing also. There. Can cool. we just go back to bed? <laughs> We're all so tired. Maybe we should make breakfast? Yeah. You wanna make it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got a skillet? It's Megs. Like y'all wanna eat, right? You guys got the bike ready? Mm. Well, it's done mm. now. So let's hook this thing up and <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> His luck. Oh. His fucking luck. You people are just beacons for bad luck, aren't you? Granny. Crow think it's all his fault. Yeah. Ah. Don't sit in the snow. I'm starting dude. to think the universe just doesn't want us getting to Atlas. It's just a flat tire. I'm sure there's a spare. It's not just that. It's everything. Storms, crashes, monsters. I'm so tired. Me too. It feels like we're always having to fight to get by. Yeah. It's not your fault, Crow. Well, that's what we signed up for. I mean, signed maybe it is. <laughs> it's bad luck. Maybe. Don't just delay the inevitable. Last night, I... I couldn't stop thinking. About? Whoa, what's happening? Why are we even going to Atlas? <laughs> The wind was weird. The I behind thought something her. was happening. Yeah. Weiss, we have to. Why? Osgood hid the relics behind giant doors under enormous schools. But how long would it take Salem to find a lamp in the middle of nowhere? But the Grim might... They'd find it eventually, sure. But bury it or just throw it down the well, it would take years. It might not even happen in our lifetime. But we could be done with it now. There's one more wish in there. Or one more question. No! Yes, you know. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. No! Not I the gin! Really? Ty? 
tired. So the opposite effect so of the ring? What's happening? It's like the opposite ring. Oh. Uh, wait, look, look, look. I'm watching, look. I'm watching, I'm watching. Oh, it's shit. It's not having it. It's like it's taking your, like, will to live. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, look at no, their eyes. No, there's something down there! I saw it! It was looking at me! That's so creepy, that was so creepy! Hey. She shook it's it. Okay. Look at, you look at her face! Eyes. Now let's go. They're what like hypnotized Wait, or something. Wait, something, it's not them. We have to go down there! She we dreaming? The she dreaming. Everybody was like hypnotized for a sec. Even Ruby was awakened. All we have to do is fix this trailer. Hey, farm boy, check the shed for a spare. I'm not yeah, why does no one care about the lamp? I'll go down with you. We'll go down together. Okay, I guess they're just tired. Are they just, like, are they just like, no. sick of everything? They're hypnotized. Something is sucking their spirits away. This it seems feels so like. Tired. Look at them. Where are you going? Where do you think? Moscanata, oh. share your wisdom, bruh. Stupid. It's like seasonal affective Stupid. disorder. <laughs> but it's, yeah. it's compounding here. Dude, Ooh. she literally just dropped. Bro, bro, have you not watched it? Hey, squad up. You can fly too. <laughs> Maybe the current carried it away. How did it go this far down, bro? No, some grim creature took it. Also, watch Castle Rock. It's a good show. No. Grim Cracker. You didn't like it? No. I haven't seen the second season yet. There's a second? <laughs> oh, there's a second. Oh. Shit. I found that show utterly exhausting. It's just kind of like dark. It's all about time. No. Come on, wait. Dark is a masterpiece. And just look for the glow. Okay. This is terrifying. They did not see what she saw, guys. No. That's been pointed. Wait, wait, wait. So she's on six now. She's getting there. She's reading fast. I say one to three to six. Was it six? Or I think she's on four. No, that's six. Oh, it's it, it's the, the thing. The apathy. Apathy. <gasps> Apathy's a tragedy and boredom is a crime. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I got scared. Sorry. Ah! Okay. Cool. It's like what we've been playing. Are the those last what they week. look like? <laughs> Look at they're so like gangly. Oh lord. Is she just seeing them? Oh my god, what's happening? Nikki Josh, Serge and I have been fighting these fuckers for weeks now. Yeah. <laughs> Back for bloodstreams. Oh they're baby. really okay. Are they all gonna see? Check that on Twitch. Can they all see them? I don't think they're seeing what Ruby's seeing. No, they're seeing it. <gasps> No. Yeah, yeah, get the fuck out of there. Good thing grandma reads. Yeah, I'm telling you, Moscanata, she's the best. These are these are zombies. They They're are, very they scary are looking. They're like yeah. grim. They're undead. Look at them. Oh my god. That's like what's the they just punch you with depression, bro. Well, no, that's <laughs> also like Zelda. If you remember, the zombies in Zelda, if they shriek, then you freeze for yeah. a certain amount of time. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like so blood curdling that it's like, oh my god. Oof. Those things terrify me. Oh, bro, hell. look at the, the Brunswick people down there. The Brunswick. The music is very haunted housely creepy. This is the perfect episode for Halloween, guys. I know. Yeah, that's awesome. I wonder if those voices put them to sleep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, the the booze is how, no longer worth it. I don't, how are there so many? <laughs> this oh. is how everybody died on the states. The people turn into them? They the, they weighed them down. But yeah. How does it so they many just go them? like a sleep, eternal That's sleep. That's why like they're all woke up sleepy too, I think. Maybe, yeah, cuz they're all were pretty tired. Yeah. It's like a presence that. Oh man. Oh no! Blake, get up. It's fine. 
Yeah. Use your silver eye thing. Silver eyes. Yeah. Do it. You must do it now. Ma, oh, you're gonna fall. You're gonna go sleepy. Look at her eyes. Too. They're even open. It's creepy. Eyes. 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 <laughs> there we go. She did it. Yeah. She did it. Welcome. Luckily, Welcome. man. He does it when it's, it's, it's a desperate situation. Cash, get out of here. <laughs> Maybe miss the silver eyes. Oh my god! This Damn. is the most horrific thing this in the is world. This awful. You can't keep using silver eyes. Oh shit! They can't get out. Come where's, on, Maz Kanata. What do you got? Maria Calavera, show us your thing. Come on, Skull Candy. Let's get it. Ooh, that's her eyesight. Sugar Skull. What color are your eyes? They're silver. <gasps> she sounds like me. You have a family? Friends? Yeah. What? You you see them around her. Think about too? them. Think about the people who love you. She knows how to the get it out of her. Are her eyes green? Like silver too? No, I think she just knows Maybe. what to do to spoke her powers. Stoke her power. I don't know what. Life is beautiful. No. No. It is precious. What is happening? This is like the it most evil kind of grim. Be protected. protected. They just take away everything, all your happiness. Out of there it is. Whoa. Fuck them up. Oh, like evaporates them. Blind them. Oh, yeah, they're gone. It's just that she needed to do that. Otherwise, there was no way out of there. Maria what the? Uh, it's like unfiltered light to their darkness. Run, run. There you run. go. There you go. Is that the cellar Fuck they're yeah. in? Yeah. <gasps> oh man. We're back in the house. <laughs> Respectfully, where you did you think that you would end up? Kind of lost. Hey, no. Bro, why are you consistently here? drinking? We're leaving, you idiot. Yeah, Crow's Come proving on. himself to be less and less useful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Set everything on fire. Literally, fuck this place. There are whole ass zombies, bro. <laughs> like, huh? What do you? What is happening? Oh, she's gonna hey, set the fire. She's burning this yeah. place down, bro. As they indicated Burn it. before, yeah. This whole place could go. Let's up. go. Whoa. Damn, that was cool. Let's Close the go. fucking door, please. Not let it all burn. Grab a bottle, Crow. What's wrong with you? Oh, do you see now? Do you see the problem? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh all right. Yeah, yeah. All right. You didn't even see. Well, Imagine being one of the up. only adults drunk. on here. It was probably weighing him down, too. Sure. You know? He was drunk and inebriated. Also getting weighed down by that. Sure. Oh, this shit was crazy, yo. Oh, he's gonna feel bad wow. about this for a long time. Straight up Halloween. Yeah. Look at this, it's like the shining. They're not strong or ferocious. They drain your will to go on. Mm -hmm. That's why those people f slept Especially, in the bed yeah. and died. Bartleby's estate was hemorrhaging money towards the end. He wanted to cut costs on huntsman protection. Mm. But in order to do that, he needed everyone calm. Always. He invited them? to get two away from their pack. Hikeback was miserable, but got the bastards in the cellar. Wow. My wife thinks I was out sealing the waterway entrance. I'll do it tomorrow and tell her the truth once these things take the edge off of everyone. Wow. Oh my god, I'm really, tired. bro? The next page proves that he did. What? Not before the rest of the pack followed their missing bear all the way home. No. My guess is they made their way beneath the estate through the water tunnels. That Bartleby sealed up the next morning. Oh. Bartleby's plan worked. 
Yeah. You, you didn't think that no more would be angry following. Or sad or scared. They were dead. No one was anything. And then no one was left. Damn. It happens, man, when you try to take the edge off with just two and then they end up with zombies in Damn. your basement. Eight. Wow. That's I'm sorry for She's what a speed I said. reader. Why did she throw the book away, though? About giving up. Me too. We can't quit until the lamp is safe. It's not your fault. Yang leading pack. Those, those things. Literally pulling the weight. I should have known. The signs were all there, but I'd never seen an entire settlement withered away like that. So messed up. Dude, that's I so dark. I suppose my mind just yeah. isn't what it used to be. You gotta entrust it's the future kind of generation. How do you know so much about the Grim? And the silver eyes. In the tunnels, you knew exactly what to say to make me, to make my eyes do that. She's a silver eyes. You're like, <sighs> maybe she does take her shit off. Eyes, like take her goggles off. Girl. I had silver eyes. Yeah. Hey, she had. She had, and she went blind. Maybe she doesn't I mean, have her so eyes anymore. Funny. Yeah, maybe. An, Oh my Someone god, it'd be scoop them with a spoon. Or it'd be oh. awesome if we get like a flashback where she has some badass battle where they like like blind her or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Kudos, Rooster Teeth. You guys did a horror episode. This was, it was yeah. well done. perfect timing. I, I, perfect. I, I, I it doesn't always work out like it's that. October you know, you never know. Something. It's October 28th. 8th? No, 29th right Today's now. It's 29th. Wow. These things are terrifying. They did a good job with making them yeah. so terrifying. I just, the way they like didn't stand straight and their limbs are just kind of resting. And yeah. Uh, like their hands were like. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. Their fingers are so long. Yeah, it was nasty. They got the lamp back, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. By the way, I mean, it is beautiful. It's a great design for a relic of sorts, but it does look very uncomfortable to carry. It looks impactful. Yeah. Very impactful. Hell, yeah, yeah. very fragile. Yeah, it looks how like do you, you put it in put your it suitcase anywhere. and it takes like an entire half of your suitcase. You have yeah. to put all your socks and underwear around it and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, it literally also looks that if you set it down in a wrong way, it will just... It's an entire check-in bag. Well, and how do you know that if, like, you know, if you, you put it, you check it, gets on the plane, <laughs> it's flying wherever you're going to go, gonna gets jostled, who's to say the genie doesn't come out and it's just like... <laughs> Answers the first questions she hears from yeah. some fucking asshole <laughs> yeah. on the plane, like, what can kind I get of, a vodka soda? You guys have Dasani? <laughs> <laughs> they do have Dasani, this on. Gosh. Sorry, we're getting carried away. We're getting carried away. But that was so scary, though. Like the minute she saw the lamp going to well in the eyes and everything, she's like, she she was asleep. She was affected by it. She's like, whoa, and she like woke up. So mm -hmm. everybody was kind of like affected by it. So that means Crow was affected like Hard. double because he was already mm -hmm. already yeah. feeling it. It seems oh, like man. he's. It seems like he's running from. He's rejecting the reality of Osbin being fallible. Basically, like he does, he doesn't want the kids necessarily to know what Oz's flaws are or what the truth is or something like that. Because ever since that came to be a topic of conversation, Crow has kind of receded into himself. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So he's so since they've kind of exposed Ozpin for his, uh, I guess, withholding of information, Crow has been very um, unstable. You know, it seems. It seems there's yeah. a kind of a correlation there to me. Yeah, well, I think it, because of what his sis, his sister made a choice, right? And so did he. And I think maybe he feels like he was the one, after all, who made the wrong choice because mm -hmm. he sided with Ospin, who couldn't even tell him the truth about stuff. Yeah, yeah. he's he's having Dance. mad regrets, too. He feels yeah. really bad. Like he's, mm -hmm. The kids are all in this situation because of mistakes from the past generation including like mm -hmm. his own that he didn't even know the full truth of so yeah. mm -hmm. a little bit more information could have definitely made a lot of things go in different directions i just i just the whole idea or concept of this is so dark that that this guy oh we got rid of huntsman so we wanted to i needed to alleviate everybody's tension from not having huntsman so we brought i brought two grims, grims. that basically suck the will to like take the edge off, I guess. Mm -hmm. So like, kind of sedate you, like because he's so a little blink. bit like I don't know what do you, what do you want to call it. It made Apathy. you just 
Apathy. apathy. Would you call it resource management? It's almost like a Xanax. It took away your emotions. Yeah, I was going to say, is it like a Xanax? Xanax. Or it's like you like saw Blake on the floor opioid going like, almost? I'm fine. He put two opioid it's like, <laughs> inhibitors yeah. in the basement. Their voices were literally like a drug. And like, but oh, then, they, then they, it multiplied and he sealed it not knowing all of them were in there. And and actually, it kind of makes sense oof. in hindsight because Osmond was told directly from Jen, or Jin, Jin that he, Jen. he could not um, defeat Salem. That it was impossible. So I think then from his mindset going forward was, if I can't defeat her, then there has to be some kind of coexistence. Yeah. And I think that maybe that's the prelude to what you guys are talking about. Maybe that was his thought process as in, if I can't defeat this enemy that I have, maybe I can effectively create like an equilibrium yeah. between the two of us. And so maybe that's why he, he used... Uh, the Grim in the way that he used them, you know, and, and in a way of like, you can alleviate people's, I guess, fear in a way or tensions or what mm -hmm. have you. So maybe he, maybe that's his end goal is he, he doesn't yeah. see that there is a resolution to the conflict that you just have to strike a balance. Whereas everybody else is vying for contention, essentially. It's kind of mm, now that, now that we, you know, put it like that, that's kind of how I think about mm. it. Because this was the Brunswick guy that just did this, right? The the, in this guy. specific farmland. Yeah. But you're yeah. saying that like Ospin is kind of, maybe that's his whole... Mm -hmm. that's his whole shtick. He wants stick. to strike the balance. He, yeah. he he realizes that you can't defeat the Grim, that they will be persistent regardless, and so that you have to find the middle ground in order to maintain a balance between the two. But so, that's like what the God sent him for, so perhaps he, he can't like be doing what he wants. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Maybe Apparently that's his own his his charge, I guess. I'm surprised the gods didn't step in when they had the four daughters, but that's a whole other thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm also, you know, it's weird that they would give uh, Salem like full on immortality. She's not, she's not like moving from a body to a body. She's just in her own body this whole time. But Ospin still experiences death. Like I don't know if that is part of what makes him more human, human yes. than Salem. Yeah, for right. sure, for sure. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Because she lacks the empathy that Ospin acquires by virtue of understanding what immortal life is because she has immortal life she lacks sympathy or empathy for mortal people mm -hmm. whereas ozpin has to perpetually adhere to the mortal cycle of things mm -hmm. so perhaps that's why he's more um inclusive about the information that he acquires and yeah. less exclusive about or more exclusive and less inclusive yeah. excuse me but yeah so i wonder if this is why the gods before they left they decided you know for him for him to like his immortality to be in the form of reincarnation rather well, than just be in his original body the did also is a torture to salem as well like experiencing get, sorry go on it was like a, like um also like a punishment for salem like you're the man you love will never be in the same body. Like he's gonna be reborn. You have to find him, mm -hmm. kind of thing. If you yeah. want him, you have to find him and remind him. And, uh, and I, I don't know how immediate it is how he changes his bodies, but maybe the gods knew that he needed to learn like humility and the fragility of of human life. And if you were immortal, then that stuff kind of becomes jaded, obviously a lot easier for you. But because he gets to experience what it's like to like grow old. And mm -hmm. like have friends and then lose yourself. He he yeah, has loss. more of that that heart component yeah. himself. Yeah, and it's two great juxtaposed characters because in theory they're both um, immortal, undefeatable. Yeah, one just has to live on in a persistent body, whereas the other has to capture vessels, people you know who are who, I guess to standard to his standard or mm -hmm. whatever is required to inhabit them, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, going forward. So. He has to have humanity and empathy for these people who he inhabits, whereas Salem doesn't have to have that at all. No. Because she's just been herself. This Salem is on a revenge street. Yes, it's a one-way exactly. street for her. She's, right. She knows what she's doing. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. I'm happy that Weiss burned everything, and I really hope Maria gives us a story next episode on her silver eyes. Mm -hmm. Like, Back do all silver eye people I go, like, you know, so blind? Because that's how rare it is, I guess. Maybe, you know? maybe. Maybe she used it too much one day and it went kaput. Kaput, mm -hmm. kaput, kaput. Her irises. Um, I, I think it also... I know that the Silver Eyes are a bit of a cheat code in this situation where there's Grimm involved because she has the power to just erase them. But I still think that it... Like, the fact that she was able to prevail over the 
the apathy spell. Yeah. Is because she had like the most and still has like the most kind of like drive or motivation. Yeah. Ruby? Yeah. Like she just then so she she didn't give up, you know what I mean? Like all yeah. all the other uh, everybody else was kind yeah, of like fine, leave me here. Instantly yeah. defeated and mm-hmm. she just kind of she kept on persisting, but they also already had doubt about like ever since they found out about the truth they're kind of like, well, why, why do this? You know, the next generation can do yeah. it. Why, why are we wasting our lives? On that? If you think about it, what is Ruby's fault? Like everyone else, like you know, Weiss is her family. Blake is Adam stuff. with Yang is thing. the having her thing. Yang, uh, believe in herself. Ruby doesn't have a huge issue on herself. So Ruby just always that wanted she would to be, be the here, one yeah. that would not give up her will as easily. I think that she, she has, has her own problems still, but you know. I think that she has the burden of the silver eyes where. As even in Vice's character, we have somebody who can train and hone her skills where, you know, Crow has it, but he's very disconnected and again, very cynical about kind of everything that's going on. Ruby doesn't necessarily have that kind of um, Star Trek, what what's it called? You know, the you can walk into it's, it, it, it replicates any environment you want, right? She, can, she yeah. can't really go in and like refine and hone her skill with her silver eyes, whereas... Mm-hmm. Vice has that opportunity by virtue of her family of having yeah. the space and the capacity and the training areas and stuff. So I, I think that uh, obviously the crux of Ruby's character is is that inherited trait, but she doesn't really have the same means to exercise it or to practice it in the same way that say Vice does or Yang. Yang has her father, you know, who practices with her, and so does Blake. Blake yeah. has you know a community of people that would help her, and and so Ruby's kind of left alone in that situation where it's just Crow, and Crow is obviously very mm-hmm. kind of reclusive. Crow's got to talk to somebody. He's now. got his he's own got, shit, he's and he's got to deal with it quite, you know, quite obviously. So it it's one of those things where she's kind of underserved, and I think that a lot of her supporting characters have been not overserved, but they've been built up to the level of maybe her character. And so I think that hopefully going forward we can see some yeah. development with her. Yeah, yeah, I need more Ruby. Yeah, focus. for sure. Yeah, let's get it going. I think we're going to finally see it now. The Silver Eyes. The Silver Eyes with Maria. Silver That's Eyes. our Ruby focus. Uh, Mikey will be back next week. Yes, he will. We are going to continue Volume 6. Can't believe we're here. Yeah. See you. Bye. 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 Thank you all so much for watching this week's episode of Ruby. We'd like to give a special shout out to our super patrons, Raga, Michal, Saqib, Clayton Davis, Mr. Momus, and Joe Mags. Thanks again and have a great weekend.